All right. Sometimes you don't actually need to make a whole uh, box and whisker plot, but you want to be able to find the interquartile range, and this is how you do that. So if you have a set of numbers, and we did this in the last video, but if you have a set of numbers, you just need to find the um, the first quartile, the third quartile, and the, the median. So remember, first you have to find the median, and in this set it would be these two numbers because we have... Um, 10 numbers total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh sorry, 8 numbers. So there's going to be two middle numbers. So the um, median is 91.5. Actually, you don't actually need to find the median, but um, you'd do that if it was a box and whisker plot. But you know that this is 1 half, and this is the other half of the numbers. So then you need to, in those green ones, you need to find the medians of the first and the second half, which would be out of those uh, two numbers. So this one would be, or the quartile one would be 88 and a half. And the quartile three would be, um, 96, because 92 plus 100 divided by 2 is 96. So to find the interquartile range, you just uh, take, we take uh, this, the quartile 3, and we subtract it from quartile uh, 1. So it's Q3 minus Q1, which would be 96 minus 88 and a half, which would equal 7 and a half, or 7 and 5 tenths. Um, if you have the actual box and whisker plots, it's even easier because you know that the box, this actual box right here, this is what represents the interquartile range. These little outside parts, the whiskers. The whiskers represent the outer quartiles. The, the box is the inner quartile. So it's just the range from the highest part of the box to the lowest part of the box. So with boxes, it's super easy. You don't have to find the numbers. So this is the difference between the range between 6 and 16. So 16 minus 6 is 10. Uh, for this one over here, it would be 16 is the upper quartile and 8. So this would be 16 minus 8, which would be 8. So when you have the box and whisker plots, the finding the inner quartile range is even easier because instead of the the range, right, the the actual range, as we've learned before, the range would be from the end of the whisker to the end of the whisker. That's the total range. The green part would be the interquartile range because it's the two inner quarters.